Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you watched my recent video on this camera, the Mamiya RB67, then you may have seen some of the photos where unfortunately on the film there was a light leak. So unfortunately, this is just one of the things that can happen when you're buying used cameras off of the internet. I bought this listing from Japan. It was rated mint plus 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 excellent condition, film tested, everything that you can want in an eBay listing. And still I'm kind of in this annoying situation where I have a camera that I can either fix or I can deal with the expensive costs of shipping it back to Japan, waiting a ton of time for that money to be refunded to where I can buy a new one. And that's just not something I wanna deal with. So for about 10 bucks, I'm gonna fix this thing myself. Now, before we get into fixing this camera and tearing the light seals apart in here, God forbid you've already shot some film that has light leaks on it. I'm gonna show you how to fix that first in Lightroom or at least make the photos look as best as possible. And then we're gonna get on to fixing the actual physical seals inside the camera. So here's the photo edited with the colors the way I like them, but you can see there's this bluish tint at the bottom and that's the light leak. So one of the first steps in correcting this is sort of just noticing like how it's affecting the image. Every light leak is different. They have different colors and they affect the image in different ways. Right away, you can see this one is quite blue. And the way you know that you can fix this is that there's still information under the light leak. If I go to this image over here, you can see that the light leak is completely white and there's actually no information underneath that leak. So that's kind of unfortunate because there's nothing to recover there. But with something like this one here where you can just see a different hue of color and you can still see that there's information underneath there, it's quite easy to fix. So we're gonna be working pretty much exclusively with the brush tool, which is on the top right side of Adobe Lightroom here. And the first thing I like to do is drop my exposure down really low. And what that's gonna do is just show me the areas that I'm highlighting. And then what I'm gonna do is just come over here with my brush and try to highlight the area where I wanna do some correction. And the first thing that a light leak does is it makes the part of the image that is exposed brighter. So I'm gonna set this to an exposure level that I think looks normal. And you can see if I drop it down a little over negative one that it brings that overexposed look down. So now the exposure of the light leaked area is relatively similar to the rest of the exposure of the image. And then you're left with that blue tint. So I'm gonna come up here to the temperature and add some warmth to that. And what that does is it really balances the tint of the light leak with the rest of the image. So now that blue tint is kind of gone. And the only real thing you can see now is that it just looks a little bit faded where it was before. So first what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of sharpness to that area. And then also to try and get these faded blacks down, I'm gonna drop the blacks. And you can see that now with those adjustments, it's looking a little bit too warm. So maybe I'll cool it off again. And this takes just a little bit of back and forth. So there it is. It's not looking amazing, but it's definitely a nice quick little workaround if you have some images that are previously light leaked. I think if you didn't know the light leak was there, you might notice that something is a little off, but it definitely doesn't look ruined. Um, so that's a quick little easy tip. I'm curious if you guys noticed that that was there in the original video. So these are just really quick ways to fix the photos. If you've already shot pictures with a leaky camera, the real way to solve this issue is to tear this thing open and fix the light seals in here. So that's what we're gonna do now. So here's the camera. Let's start off with some materials that you're gonna need. First thing right here is the Q-tips. This is just gonna be useful for cleaning the different surfaces in there. I also have some cleaning wipes. I'm not sure if this is necessary, but it'll definitely help. You need a simple razor blade. And finally, you need, not Portra, you could use some Portra, but you need this stuff. This is camera light seal foam. It comes in different thicknesses. I ordered a couple different sizes because I wasn't sure 
which size I was gonna need. So it's this really interesting foamy material on one side and on the other side it has a peelable backing and this is gonna make it super easy to redo the seals. So here you can see the different thicknesses of these materials. I think I'm probably gonna go with the middle one here which is 1.5 millimeters thick. The next step here would be to take apart the film back on your camera. So on the RB, there's kind of two layers to this. There's this middle plate here and the film back itself. And you can kind of look around the areas and see where the old light seals used to be. So here, for example, on this film back, you can see that all along here, there used to be seals. They're totally rotten away. So what I'm gonna do here is start by cleaning off this surface here. Same thing on the back side, and then we'll restick some seals on there. To do this, I'm gonna start with the wet wipes here, and I'm gonna go along all of these little surfaces. And I think wetting the material should help it come off as well. So now that this surface is looking much cleaner than it was before, I think what we can do is start cutting up some of this material and we'll put that on the film back. And I'm gonna try and cut the correct sized piece off of this. Probably also cutting through my backdrop here, but that's okay. So here's a very thin strip of material. I'm gonna put this along here. So you can see where I laid it down from here to there. I'm gonna try and cut a longer piece and it would probably be best to do this whole thing in one go. Now the piece has come all the way around, so I'm gonna just trim it off right there and that's it. That light seal is now replaced. That should work much better. I'm gonna do this on a lot more of the camera and then we'll put it all back together. All right, so this plate here is all done. I did the front and back. I thought there were some seals on here, but that's not true. This actually doesn't need any seals. The last place I need to do is inside the actual film back here. And it's along these sort of very skinny lines, which is gonna be tough to do. So I cut pretty much as thin as I could with these strips and I'm just gonna line all around the film back. Now what I'm gonna do is put this all back together and it seems like it's fitting pretty tight, but that's also a good thing because these light seals kind of have to get pressed down and that way you know that they're sealing properly. So there it is, all back together. You can test this in a dark room with a flashlight if you wanna try and kind of look around the seals, see if there's any leaks, but obviously the best way to see this is to just go out and shoot a roll of film with it. Let me know if you have any tips for doing this that makes it easier or let the people know in the comments down below. That was really fun. And finally, I wanna thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an incredible all-in-one website building platform that you can use to build your photography portfolio online. I've been using Squarespace for over three years at this point and their incredible 24 seven online customer support and super customizable templates just make it so easy to get a website up and running for your photography. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, you can hit the link in my description for a 14 day free trial of Squarespace. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Willem for 10% off your first purchase. That's it for now, you guys. Like I said, all the links are in the description to the materials that I use. Thank you so much for watching. 